Hello, welcome to work at the Railroad Train Future Super Structural Engineers. My name is Pasha Ochet. Today, as you can see this structure, we have done the part one of this strip footing. So if you want to learn more on how to model your strip footing, I would advise you to watch the part one of this video. That is where that was where we did our modeling of this particular kind or type of a foundation. It's very important. And why you need to know this is because at times when you are designing your structure and you are using part foundation and the part foundation is failing, the next foundation you need to consider is what we call white strip what foundation. And on that note, we have already done the part one of this particular strip footing, which is what the modeling part of it. But in this part two of this video, we want to look at how we can now design this to know the kind of reinforcement that is going to be what to be used for this uh, white strip foundation. So therefore, let's go there and see how we can now design this particular uh, white strip foundation. And in case you have not subscribed to Ekdel, I want to say you should please do so because by subscribing, you are telling us you need more of our services. At the same time, we should do what we should do more of it. So therefore, please click on what on the like button. By doing that, you are also doing what encouraging us. And at the same time, I want to say you should also like this uh, this video. So therefore, let's go there and see how we can now design this particular white strip foundation. So therefore, let's go there. All right. Welcome back. Now, we want to see, as we have said, we want to see how we can now design this uh, strip footing. Please, I want you to listen very, very well. Because if you miss it, it's very, very dangerous. It can still lead towards the collapse of your of your structure. You know, foundation is the one that carries the whole load. So therefore, let's see what we need to do. Once we want to design, as you can see the structure already here, the 3D, you can see it. I have explained, we have done the modeling of this. And how do you know the kind of reinforcement that are needed to do what to design your foundation that will be needed what in your in the course of what construction and you know at site you have to follow what the design specification isn't it so therefore let's see because the way this one is going to be detailed is where from how you are going to detail your part foundation so as you can see it even from here so that is that and if you want to know more as i said watch the part one of this particular video so once you want to do your design then what you need to do is to come either you leave it here or you go to what to level zero don't come to level one sorry don't come to story one sorry level one don't come to level one or level two level two be as what as zero level is that okay that's one I haven't done this the next one you need to do is to now come to this place and click on concrete design do you see it now concrete design and make sure first of all that you have done your your analysis and design for the superstructure looking at this structure we have excuse me we have done the analysis and what and design of this particular structure so let me show you let me show you my design status let me show you so you can see it so we have done the analysis and what and design of superstructure so since we have done that it's when you are finished with your superstructure that everything is safe then you can now start what your substructure which is your what your foundation so i go back and click so therefore let's now Put our story level zero so which is this one so once you have done your superstructure everything is checked and saved then you now come to what at level zero story zero click on what on design concrete design once you click on it come to where we call beam reinforcement design from this beam reinforcement design what do you want to do you want to do you want to work on what not story beams you want to work on foundation beams so this is now you click on what foundation beams so once i click on it you can see they are not yet what designs so this cross means what this uh, red cross means what or as a uh, sign means they are not yet what design since they are not yet design it's now left for you to work as a structural engineer to do what to do the design so therefore what do you need to do you first of all come and do your settings is that okay you come and do your what your settings so click on settings and wait for you to what to come up so I'll click on the settings. So we are waiting for you to do what? To come up. So now see it here. So now at this point, there are things you need to do. So now, based on how I want it to be detailed, I want together, based on how I want it to be detailed, I have to come here and what? And set it. So at this point, we have a design, we have a par parameters, we have a steel bar section and the rest. So now for me, I will first of all come to this place and check, or let me start from here, from the beginning. So design, under the design, you come to this place called concrete cover. Please listen. Concrete cover. If you don't input the value I'm going to give you here now, this your foundation will not be designed. 
So for this foundation to be designed, what you need to do is to now enter this value I'm going to give you 35. That's under beam top edge 35. Beam bottom width 50. Are we getting it? And section side 35, which means 35, 50 what? 35. If you don't input this value, if you don't enter this value, and you just click on save and then this and come to beam design batch mode, this foundation will not be designed. So for you to be designed, you need to follow the procedure I'm giving you now. So at this point, under concrete cover, 35, 50, 35. Is that okay? Top beam top edge 35, beam bottom edge 50, section side 35. Which is what? 35, 50, 35. That is that. Once you are done with this place, good and fine. The next thing to do is to come to what we call parameters. Under these parameters, it's telling us that what are the reinforcement that we are going to use minimum and maximum. So it's advisable you use what? Minimum and also what input what? Maximum. So my minimum is 12 and my maximum is what? Is Y16. So likewise, in terms of link, you have to put you have to put your reinforcement for the minimum and what? And then maximum. In this case, I can decide to use maybe Y10, Y, sorry, Y8 and Y10. But make sure that those places are not what? Are not empty. Is that clear? Make sure those places are what? Are not empty. So I've done this, this particular one. Then the next thing you are done is to come back to this place and recheck and see that yes, this value I can as you can see is very very important. This value are what are intact and also my reinforcement, the minimum and maximum, my link, the minimum and maximum, all the values are there. If you like, I use Y8 and then Y10. So, but for this, as long as the values are there, sorry, the type of reinforcement are there, is what still okay. And my spacing, I'm leaving as what at 200. Is that okay? At 200. That is that. So once we have done all of this, this one at this point here is part of a portal setting. So which you need to do. And if you want to know how to set your drawing portal setting, you are advised you to watch the portal setting. Just the portal setting by Ekidel. So you see the part one, part two on how to set your what your portal to have a good what a good uh, detailing. So have done this once. Then all I need to do now is now click on what on save. So I will now say what yes. So I wait for it. So having done this, the next thing you now come and do is to click on what beam design batch mode. Beam design batch mode. So you now click on it. And once you click on it, you now come and click on what we select all bars. So the first one says what check still select new when previous bars are insufficient. Why the second one say check still and don't select still when previous bars are insufficient. So for me, I'm click on what reselect. Is that okay? Since I'm going to still go to do my interactive design, so I'll just click on, on reselect. So I'll do what and I'll click on calculate. So, therefore, let's wait for it. So, let's wait for it and see. So, while we are waiting, in case that I've said you have not subscribed to Ekide channel, I want to say you should do so by subscribing to our channel. We are telling us we should do what we should do more of the videos because it's helping lives, and we can see from testimony that indeed it's really helping lives. So, to encourage us more, I would say you should click on the subscribe button and also at the same time like this uh, this video. We really appreciate you so much. So, you can see it has been designed, but having done the batch mode, you discover that some of it is what some of them are like this one and this one they are showing what red which means it has not yet what be designed so all i need to do i click on it and click on what interactive design and see why it's not designing now looking at this we have explained this aspect of s bar top s bar top eh, at that bottom or top we have explained this eh, aspect when, let me just say it that when you have something like this as long as it's not less than 20 you are okay to go is that okay so now looking at this why it's not designed? If you look at the top of this, it's showing us what 7.22. And we have said in our previous video that you must not be less than 100. So therefore, what would I need to do? I can increase this to 4 or I reduce it and come to this place and increase to 3. So which is mean it's what the same thing. You can see it's more than 120. It's more than 100 rather. So or I leave it at 2 and then increase this one to what? To be 4. Which is still okay. 200. Which one is better? Is that okay? So that is that. And this one, Y12, okay. And look at this edge. It's okay. Then come to this place. And let's check. Any value. You can see this place. It's having what? It's having a um, 83. 83, which is not okay. Which is not okay at this edge. So I can now decide to choose what? Okay. I return it back. I click on this. Okay. So this one is showing 13, which is not good. So I come to this place and make it what? This. Okay, you can see it's okay now. Four four is that okay? So and how to do your settings that you will not be having uh, all of this? I will also show you. So you can see it here. Now we have we have to correct it. So you can see we are having a top as what at the center at the support here. We are having this top two 
3y16 and bottom 3y16 invert on the same place at the same place rather so what i do what i get to do is to because this one if you look at this place is what less than 20 so i reduce this it's showing failure here then come here and increase this so you can see it's still okay and this place is still okay so do you see it now so that is that so any other one again so i think that is all so therefore let's go back and click okay so you can see it has been what it has been designed so therefore let's look at this one again let's look at this one again okay why is it failing why is it not designing okay okay as you can see this place we just change it to what <clears throat> this place is what less than 100 i click on it 16 so you can see it's, it's okay and this one also i turn it what to 16 so that is that but when you are doing your detailing or from here you have to do what choose the same um the enforcement don't use y12 at the place and use y16 at in a particular place to avoid what confusion at what at site is that clear so it's very very important so that is that okay okay which other one again this one okay at this point there's what there's a failure let me check it uh, failure yes this let me increase it okay you can see it now it's very okay at this point okay okay the area of steel is okay it's okay it's okay which one again which one again which one again okay so we are what we are good what to go is that clear this is a good one to go so i click on what and okay and see see you can see it now so all has been designed so by the time we want to start our interactive design for all of this then we can now think of what correcting those things let me check this one let's give me one figure that's one instead of zero point something so you can see it here you can see this place 4.7 something that's supposed to be more than 100 so what do i do i increase this to y16 you can see it now it's okay so let me just quickly go through it that's true that is why it's very important to interact with your designs so you can see space 15 so i increase this one so you have to interact with your what with your software so you can see this place one something that's supposed to be 100 so this one is what is a three since 16 is still giving one so i have to make it three so therefore properly by the time we are doing your our interactive interactive design i'm going to ensure that the whole of this top is what is 3y16 to avoid confusion at sight and if i look at anyone look, looking at this place by the base this one also is what three to increase this so you can see it now so at this at the bottom reinforcement let's see the bottom reinforcement so you can see this place now at this support it's going to be three so automatically we notice that it's three y16 that's so okay for this particular uh beam and all this reinforcement is that okay so what we are going to use for the whole of this is going to be what three y16 so that's what i can we can also see this place 94.3 and it's two y so we make it what three so you can use it now automatically this place what you are going to use is what three y16 so by the time we come for interactive design that's where we're going to do that so that's that click on what on okay so you can see it now so that is that the same thing happened to this place we are having a one I want to think to this okay you can see the top that means this place is going to be four four okay and this place the bottom this at this point is going to be three and the base this one is three this one is three is going to be what three so you can see it is that okay so let's look at it so you can see it so you can now see how it is so you can see it so you can see that place you can see this our strip the width is what you can see how it's been detailed we are going to use 8 y 10 y 10 so we are going to use and for this other one we are going to y 12 use it now why this uh, beam our beam here you see our beam is what 3 y 16 and the top is what 2 y 4 y 16 at the same time 2 y 12 do it now how it's been properly detailed because the way this one is being detailed is different for what from a uh, part foundation i believe you are enjoying this so you can see how fantastic and neat this work is and if you want to detail your work like this there's a place we have done the setting that made it to come, to come out like this so that's why you need to watch part one and uh, part two of portal setting by ekidel so that you can learn more about this and this one if you want to remove this uh, side uh, this thing which is very important you don't need to remove it because you need it at site to know the depth of this and all this has been done in part one where we input this uh, particular value and likewise this 500 we are seeing we have also done it in part one so all of this go and learn it in our part one of this uh, of this uh, white strip uh, modeling of this structure so that is that i click on close and at the same time close all right at the same time what um close this so now we are done with what with the design of this particular structure we have done the modeling and we have done the analysis at the same time we have done what the design of this particular structure so now we are good to go to do our what our detailing and set forward to our clients so thank you very much i believe you really enjoyed this video please click on the subscribe button i can now emphasize on it 
at the same time also click on the like button thank you so much till i see you in our next video remain blessed